Who are you going with for your dark horse MVP prediction? Peter, we'll start with you. You know, Patrick Mahomes won the MVP award in his second year. Lamar Jackson won the MVP award in his second year. Do you know which quarterback went to the playoffs as a rookie and is coming back with a lot of questions around his team? Give me Mac Jones as my dark horse MVP candidate. Peter! No one has any confidence, it seems like, in the Patriots. Who's calling the plays? Who's calling the plays? How about this one? Who cares? We got Mac at the quarterback spot. No one's going to pick Mac Jones. It's a huge long shot. Patriots bring back a lot of players from a team that went to the playoffs last year. And if they finish first over Buffalo, a huge ask. You better believe there's going to be some hype around a second-year quarterback who was the fifth one taken in the first round. I'm going Mac Jones, dark horse MVP candidate. Not a popular pick, but that's the whole point. Dark horse. <laughs> wow, Peter. If Mac Jones wins the MVP, oh my goodness, I got to come up with something. I got to give you something if that actually happens and comes to fruition. Yeah. Uh, but a good one, though. Good one. Good for conversation. I, I'm going to go with Matt Ryan, Indianapolis Colts, the new quarterback in Indy. Matt Ryan, okay, 14 years. He was a, a, a former MVP. He's going to make better decisions on the football field than Carson Wentz did. I mean, you're not going to have to worry about this guy throwing some of those bad interceptions deep. Um, in his own end zone. But again, you look at last year, you look at what he did at Atlanta, he made the right decisions, you couple him with Jonathan Taylor and those weapons on the outside. Matthew Ryan playing in a, you know, not a great AFC South. You look at the division, I, I, I think he can put up the numbers and I think he's going to be able to complete enough passes on the outside because he's going to have the one-on-one -on -one, uh, the one -on -one matchups on the outside. You never know. I'm telling you, Matt Ryan, he has it in his in his play. He could be the Dark Horse, Dark Horse MVP this season. I like it, Mike. I'm going to give our MVP to our GMFB staffer, Vicky, who did the segment opening animation of all of us riding right into your living room with the goggles, and I think Jane was winning. That was incredible. I would only ask the next time we do this, can you have one, what they do at the Preakness? I want Peter running across those porta-potties and everybody throwing beers at him. Yeah. They call it the Freakness. That's the next one. The, what is it? The running of the porta-potties. <laughs> Get Peter! That's what I want. Um, also, wow, Peter... Mac Jones. I, I looked it up. The longest der winner ever at the biggest long shot at the Preakness is a horse called Master Derby in 1975. That would be the new champ, Mac Jones. Uh, but that's what we're doing. Dark horses. I'm going to go with, um, you know who I'm going with. Is the world ready? Is the internet ready for Kirk Cousins as the NFL MVP? Because damn it, I know. am. Get in there, Kirk. Wow. Let's do it. Everybody get your conversion vans and drive them to Outback Steakhouse where you will pay with a gift card. Uh, I'm ready. And I, I think the Vikings are ready. Listen, this is a guy in the day Kirk Cousins could be counted on to, to flirt with 5,000 yards passing, whether it be with Washington or Minnesota. Nobody in the NFL has better receivers. Yes, I said it. I think there's some great ones. I don't think I can clearly say anybody is better than the guys that he lines up, especially with Dalvin Cook. And remember, everybody... The Zimmer era is over. One crazy Zimmer, it's gone. We have a young, square-jawed, offensive head coach who is going to <laughs> unleash hell across that field turf in U.S. Bank Stadium. And just be ready, everybody, because I know he can't win in prime time. He's ready. He's got his Creed playlist. He's got 5,000 yards, and Kirk Cousins MVP would be absolutely incredible. Jane... I can't wait to see who you're going with. Is it possible that Saints pass rushers could win defensive MVP? So if, if so, we're in. <laughs> Cam Jordan Are this we morning. Choosing violence to start the show, Kyle. Is that what we're doing? I didn't realize you literally drank what? your haterade this early in the morning. I've got an honest question though for you, Kyle. Is Brooke jealous yeah. of the flirtation that you have with Kirk Cousins? Does a fat head hang in the master Good bedroom? Question. I'm just curious. Oh. My wife, Brooke, who's two floors up from there, knows the affection I have from Kirk Cousins. You know, I, I have to get the love somewhere, honey. You know, like, it, it's, it, Kirk and I have a very special relationship, put it that way. That's his pass, guys. He gets one pass, and it's wow. Kirk Cousins. Uh, all right. That's Derek my pass. Derek Carr is my pick. <laughs> Enjoy that Usually one, Cousins Kyle. Are Derek upon. Carr. Oh, God. In his third season, he was a candidate, so I don't think it's that big of a stretch. 
And then Devontae Adams chose him. And then we were listening to David Carr on the NFL Network lately. He talked about all the time that Derek and Devontae have spent together and the connection they had this offseason. Not to mention Darren Waller and a new coach who loves the passing game. And I just look at how far Carr was able to get this team with all the off-the-field drama last year. With a little more stability, with some better weapons around him, I think he could make a legitimate run uh, as your dark horse MVP candidate.